Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a date night look on the stunning, precious. Her skin is just so flawless, like amazing. I'm going to start with the brows. I'm going to be using a Remo London pencil in dark brown. First, I'm going to use the spoolie to just brush the hairs in place like so. This is my Morphe spoolie. And then I'm going to outline the brow and start filling it up with the pencil this is in the shade dark brown i've got a detailed brow tutorial on my channel so check that out i'll put the link down below and then i'm gonna proceed to skin prep i'm gonna be using the m brow lace cream i'm gonna put that all over the skin as a moisturizer and also this is gonna serve as my primer i tend to use this cream for all skin types because it's just so nice it's just a great base it just makes it come together The moisturizer is just melted into the skin. So I'm going to move to foundation. I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match. I'm doing a cocktail of AP, 2W, and N9. I'm going to be using a damp beauty blender. Not a beauty blender. This is my Root Technique sponge. It's damp. And I'm going to just dab and tap it into the skin. So I love using a damp sponge because it's just so soft and it helps the product melt together. Look at how flawless our skin is looking. Beautiful. Going back into the eyes, I'm using my P. Louise base in O in zero. And I'm going to just use that to prime the eyes, just as a, for the eye, like a base for the eyeshadow blend that in and then I'm gonna go in with my Zulu palette this is the Juvia's Place palette I'm gonna go into the brown there I'm gonna use that in the skin I'm just gonna tap it in because the base is a bit wet so I'm just gonna tap 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 and then as I tap in when I see that it's covered a bit then I start blending in like a circular motion I'm going to go into my Urban Decay palette. This is the Bon Jerome palette. I'm going to go in with Weekender. And I'll use that to just buff out the and further blend the edges just to avoid harsh lines. I'm going to put that in the patch as well and then blend it out. I'm then going to use the NYX Glitter Primer and use that on the lid just like so. And then I'm going to go in with my NYX Eyeshadow in Girl Top. I'm going to put that over the lid as well. I'm going to go in with my P. Louise in Gold Digger. This is a P. Louise glitter in Gold Digger. And it's like a pigment actually. I'm going to use the glitter primer again. And then go in with the P. Louise glitter just on top. Just to give it an extra sparkle. Then I'm going to go back into the Bon Jerome palette to the brown and the black. And then I'm just going to dip in up the crease. After blending with those colors, I then went in with a clean brush to just blend out the hash lines. I realized that I'm going to be too high up, very close to the act of the brow so I decided to go in with my concealer again just to clean up that area just make sure it's really neat so I'm going in with my concealer and then I'm going to blend so 
So I'm going into highlighting. To highlight, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal foundation in the shade 2W and I'm going to be using a man. That's the L'Oreal Infallible Modern Concealer in the shade 337. Mix those up and then I'm just putting the uh, under the eyes, cubic bow area, the forehead, the nose, the usual places where I usually highlight. So I'll switch the Real Technique sponge to the other side, the clean side, and then I'm going to use it to blend the highlight. So I'm going to just tap, tap, uh, and not drag it, okay? So that's a makeup hack, guys. Tap, tap, because you don't want to move the product everywhere. So tap it in the places, and then uh, do not drag it, okay? So you dab, dab, or tap. So to contour, I'm going to be using Lori True Match in N9. Mix it a tiny bit with the concealer and then I'm just gonna kind of contour the nose by using a brush this brush I got it from Lido and I'm just using this small but you can use any small brush to kind of blend out the nose contour I'm gonna do the chin area just on the side like so and then I'm gonna blend with my foundation sponge to contour the jaw area I'm going in with my real techniques brush and just going like in a V shape like so then I'm going to go in with my foundation sponge to just further blend it out. So this is a makeup hack, another makeup hack, guys. So just go in with the sponge, the foundation sponge, and just further blend it out. So it's really seamless with no real harsh lines in sight. So going back in with the Real Techniques brush just to blend it and just make sure it's well chiseled. So I'm going to be going in with the Makeup Academy in a lipstick in red. I'm going to use this as a blusher. So I'm going to use a cream blush. I'm going to be using this. I'm blending it out with my Morphe brush. And then I'm going to just blend, blend, blend. Go back in with the contour and just further blend it out. Then I'm going to go in with the Max Drop Cream. And I'm going to kind of highlight the high points of our cheeks. The nose, the center of our nose as well, the forehead, just the areas where I want the light to hit the best. I'm just going to put that in and I'm also going to blend it out. Just to give it a very nice kind of skin, glowy skin look. I'm blending this out with my Morphe brush. All blended, guys. I'm going to step now with the Huda Beauty powder. This is in the shade Canofa. I'm just going to... First of all, I'm going to blend under the eyes, guys. So it's, it's important you blend before you set. If you do not do this before setting uh, with a setting powder, your crease will just sit and show. So, you know, you don't want that. I'm also going to do a reverse contour on the Jones line. And then I'm going to go in with my MAC Mineralite, Mineralite Skin Finish. And I'm going to use that golden. And I'm using that to kind of, kind of blend it contoured area and just set it then I'm going in with my Juvia's Place blush not the blush the Zulu palette the, the pink shade there and using that as a blusher just to set the blush I've applied earlier and for bronzer I'm going back in with the Juvia's Place Zulu palette and I'm using that brown shade to kind of bronze up the face putting a bit of color I'm also going to contour the then I'm going to go in with my NARS Augustine Blusher and I'm going to use this on the cheekbones just to give it a bit of glam. I love this blusher. And then I'm going to go in with the Blossom Glow. This is a wet and white highlighter. I'm going to put this on the uh, inner point of the eyes and then I'm going to use it on the nose, cubic bow area, center of the nose, chin and just the forehead just like that. So for the lips, I'm going in with a MAC Lip Pencil in Cherry. I'm just going to use that to line our lips. Then for the main lip color, I'm going to be using the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in Hot Shot all over the lips. Fabulous, precious. She's got an amazing personality. So I'm going to smoke up under the eyes just with the main colors I use on the crease. So 
to finish up the look, I'm going to be using the Mario Badesco facial spray just to melt out the powder and to just tie everything together. And here we have the completed look, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe.